Well, it's Monday the 22nd of November and we're here in the beautiful setting of Lawned Abbey in Leicestershire. It's Monday afternoon. The rain's just started. It's not too cold, it's quite mild. And just behind me is the beautiful Abbey itself. And the reason we're here today is we're going to be talking to the Reverend Tim Blewett. Good afternoon. Hi. Uh, now we're talking to you about something quite interesting that you're doing next week. So before we start speaking about that, can you tell me a little bit about what you actually do on a day-to-day -day basis here at Lawn Abbey? Yes, I'm, I'm currently the warden at Lawn Abbey and my job is to enable those who come here to receive hospitality, to actually be welcomed, valued, supported and to actually retreat from the world to um, discover a bit more about themselves and about who they are and also about other people. Okay, now next week you're about to undertake uh, something for a whole week which I think most people would find uh, quite a challenge and, and hopefully would never find themselves uh, in the situation. But as a trustee of Action Homeless, the charity that deals with homelessness, you're actually going to put yourself in a situation. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, yeah, so I've been a trustee of Action Homeless this year and one of the feelings that I have very strongly was that I ought to experience and to know what it is to be homeless. So I'm actually going to go and rough sleep for the week, uh, which is the actual, the average length of time that people spend on the streets in Leicester. Now, um, you're actually putting yourself in the situation where you're going to be rough sleeping, you're not taking anything extra with you, no, no extra money, um, in fact you don't really know much about the homelessness provision at all in Leicester, do you? In, in many ways, I've, try, I've been trying not to find out about it, so that actually it's a, a completely raw experience, because I want to be able to turn up in Leicester as if I am homeless, and find out what it's like to be homeless in Leicester and if I knew where to go what to do then that would obviously take away from the experience take away from from the reality of what people go through so this is a way of, of really finding out what it is and as a trustee of a, of a charity that deals with uh, homelessness do you think this kind of thing will actually help you when it comes to not only talking to service users but also explaining to other people as well about the service provision absolutely I and mean, there's nothing like experience to be able to relate to people and obviously to be able to talk to service users, having been on the streets myself, will be able to, I'll be able to understand much more of what they've been through and what they're going through and how best to support them. But also just talking to people uh, in, the, in the wider world, being able to say, look, homelessness is like this. It's not good. You know, and to actually be able to say something about my own experience will hopefully able, enable them to enter into it and to actually take it much more seriously.